next in the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here he is, Suri Nobbs Jarzinho Rosen strike, the first man or woman from his nation to compete on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. And this guy's done a whole lot more than compete since transitioning from kickboxing. He's been undefeated as a mixed martial artist. He was the UFC's Rookie of the Year in 2019. Alistair Overeem's got a story about this man's power, and perhaps tonight's opponent will have one to tell after the festivities tonight. Jarzinho Rosen strike, Biggie Boy, is back for more tonight. For my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with similar height and the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, yes, and yo, Biggie Boy, Rose and Strike! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds. Tom Espinal! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. Right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Straight right is there. Strong knee attempt, but it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, elbow strike landed by Rosenstrike. Just the Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet.
engages in the single collar tie. Oh, straight right. of a setup there, misses with the left hook. Rosen strikes lower, John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice strike landed there by Biggie Boy. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Just out of range with that strike. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Rosie's strike gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Hands to the body there. Big punch land. Big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Dig and kick. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Does that one appear to stun him? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down now. Outside leg kick, outside leg kick. Oh! Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down, and that's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you can hit a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Single collar tie now. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Look at the turtle in that kick. And that one certainly found the target. Try to establish that jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Next. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Great punch. Look at how he turns his chin into that leg. He's got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. Big kick lands. He got him. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to make it. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, single collar tie now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh! Oh! So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by the Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.